Hello, my name is Dan Oxley, I'm from Faro Technologies. I'm here today to talk to you about the Faro Scan Plan. It's a class one laser that is used to create 2D floor plans and diagrams. It's also, as you can see, transported in a pellet case, and shortly we'll open the case to show you what's inside. We're now going to look at the scan plan itself and talk through the components and what it looks like. First thing to talk about are the lasers. There's two lasers actually on board. It has a 230 degree field of view from the front and also on the bottom we have a laser that projects. This is very important when it comes to taking photographs. But we'll talk about that at a later stage. If I turn the device slightly over, you can see there's a power button. You simply press that power button on for about one and a half, two seconds, and it'll charge the device and turn it on. At the back, we have a USB adapter. We have a charging point. We have a power light, so we know that we're working. And also we can see a battery. The battery is simply removed by depressing to the sides and sliding out. Another I'd like to talk about is the phone tray. If I lift this up, you can notice there are two metallic plates on the bottom and a USB hole. I'm simply going to take the phone, slip it in, and make sure all the magnetic connections connect. On this device, I have an Android, but as mentioned earlier, we have three USB connectors. I'll just show you one example of plugging the connector into an Apple device. It's simply a case of looking for the charge point of the phone, placing it inside the adapter, and a push till it clicks. This phone is now ready to be used within the scan plan. So now we're ready to use the scan plan. I'm going to start the Faro scan plan app and simply press on the app for it to load. And we notice in the bottom right hand corner we have a blue icon. I'm going to press the icon and it's going to attach the scan plan to the software. I'll get a choice to connect over USB or Wi-Fi. In this mode, I always want to use the USB connection. So I simply press the top option and it'll tell me that it's connected to the scan plan. It'll then give you the license agreement, which I'm going to hit OK because I've already read it and I understand. What's also worth noting is that sometimes it can ask you to turn the USB tethering on on the Android device. This software will take you to that stage if it's not already activated. And now I have the availability to create a new project. A project is a collection of more than one scan. I'm simply going to hit the bottom right hand corner, which is the plus sign, and it's going to give me the, the ability to create a project name. If I tap into the name at the top, it then brings up the user keyboard. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to make it easy and call it Studio as I'm in the Faro Web Studio. So I press Studio. And hit go, bottom right hand corner. After a few seconds, it gives you the new plan name. It's called Studio, but also importantly, it has a level. This is the point where you need to change the level to the level that you are working on. If you're on the fourth floor, third floor, etc., just change that level. This becomes very important at the end of the project and something I can explain further to you at the end. I'm happy that I'm going to be on level one. I'm happy that I'm in the studio. So I'm going to press add. The device is going to load, we're going to start capturing data, you see the laser out the front, so I'm going to take you on a walk, we're going to do some live scanning. Now that we've got the scan plan turned on and the app running, we're going to capture some live data. So I've started to walk, you know it's got 230 degree field of view, so it's capturing the walls as I move. But as I've walked, I've noticed there's a point of interest, which I want to capture and add to my diagram. So I'm simply going to turn around, place the scanner, looking at the item of interest, in the bottom right hand corner, I have a plus sign. I'm going to hit my plus sign. And then I've got an option of a picture. I'm going to press the picture button. And it's going to say, move scan plan to the position that I want. We'll notice now that the laser has also come out from the bottom. And that we talked about earlier. That's to make sure we're in exactly the same position they want. Now from this angle, I want to capture the sign and the fire extinguisher. So I'm going to hit confirm. It's going to bring up the photograph option within the camera. I'm going to just simply press the photograph button, press the tick, and I can see that's been annotated into my diagram. I'm now going to carry on my walk. As I'm walking around and capturing the data, it's always important to keep an eye on the screen. The screen gives us live feed as the data that's captured. 
If we're walking and we notice we have areas that we've missed, we can simply turn around, walk back and recapture the data. So I can see in this corner, there's a slight recess. I'm just literally going to turn to face the recess. And then I'm going to carry on walking forward. It's also very important to keep the scanner horizontal at all times. That's a very important feature of the scanner. And then I've come across another field of interest. So again, I'm going to press my plus button, press the picture, check that my secondary laser has come out, press confirm. I'm going to capture the data, press confirm. And that has now placed it in. I'm now happy with this basic plan that I've captured. So now that I've, I've captured the data I need, I press the red button at the bottom right hand corner. And it's going to say to me, would you like to stop mapping? At this stage I do, I do not require any further data. So I hit yes. It's going to load. I wait for it to save to ensure that it's been saved. It now brings up a, um, an overview screen so I can scroll around if I need to, to check the project is the is happy that I've captured. Now I'm ready to export the data and move on to the next step. I've now captured all my data and returned to my office. The next step is to extract it from the device. As you can see from the home page, I've got a list of all the projects that I've captured. In this scenario, so far I've only taken one. Had I taken more than one, they'd all be listed here. I select the project that I want, and for this scenario, I know it's Studio. So I press the right button there, and it's going to load the project for me. As it loads up, it gives you a 2D overview of the data that you captured. You can use this just to double check if this is the information that you wish to extract. Now I need to go to the top right -hand corner of the phone and press the three dots icon. And it's going to load up and give me options to extract the data. I then need to add a USB storage device into the bottom of the scanner and choose the option that I want. If I were to download the project, it would take the entire project onto the USB I can then remove it, insert it into my laptop, and then open Farazone 2D, which is a professional drawing program, and then to make drawing and measurements of the data that I've captured. Another option would be to export it as a scene to go. This is a viewing file that allows the end user to open up the data and view it and take measurements as they can see it. Thank you for watching this video. In conclusion, I feel that the Farazone plan is a portable, lightweight hand scanner which captures 2D floor plans in real time. It's affordable, it's fast, you simply walk, scan and capture the data. The scanner is really easy to use and also includes a 2D drawing program called Farazone 2D. This allows you to enhance your project with symbols, animation, satellite imagery and also importantly to take measurements. Also in conjunction with this we have scene to go which is a secure offline way of sharing the project with partners, colleagues and other end users. The Farazone plan it really is an affordable solution which appeals to a number of markets. Security pre-planning, fire scene pre-planning, crime scene investigation, post-search warrant, executive planning, just to name a few. And again, I would just like to take this time to say thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it.